What is going on guys? Welcome back to my FIFA 17 career mode series with RB Leipzig. Right here we're going to get into the first game uh, against Hamburg. This game is going to be at home for us, really important. Got to try and get into the top four. I'd love to get Champions League top four finish. That would be really good, but we would have to improve the team for next season if that were to be the case to compete in the Champions League. Holy shit, he's huge. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we need to make some changes though because the fitness, yeah, not ideal for some players. So I'm going to bring on Ilsanka here for Demma. See, Holstenberg, not quite as fit, unfortunately, and... Haven't we got an injury? Yeah, Grimaldo. So it's like we don't have another person to come on at left back. So that could be an issue for us. So we may have to just deal with that. Uh, we'll bring on Compa for Papadopoulos. So yeah, maybe yeah, Holstenberg will just have to run that out. And we'll start Paulsen over Dolberg. So that should be all right because we've got a bit of a break, I think over a week before the next game, so maybe Holstenberg will be alright, but we can't have him like continuing uh, just to be tired, we haven't really got another <laughs> player to rotate with him, unfortunately, that's like just a left back, but let's get into the game, tackle, oh, well intercepted, I was happy with that, and now he's going on for a run, Ilsanka, he's, he's a good player, now he can play it through, perfectly, Burke should finish, and does, that all started from Ilsanka, but this Burke lad, he's gonna be a very, very good winger for us, he's very pacey, and now we're really improving him, we are training him a lot, and giving him game time, which obviously helps for a young guy, so he's gonna be, he's gonna be alright, that's his second goal in the Bundesliga, but he feels so, obviously in FIFA, it's natural for a pacey player to feel good on the ball, but now we're developing, yeah, other sides of his game. Oh no, missed time challenge, and they're on, that was poor, oh, he ran away, <laughs> I'm lucky there, honestly, probably should have conceded, even though it was just like, yeah, one missed time challenge, and they were suddenly on, but wow. Maybe a bit lucky in that situation. Is well Juru playing? Oh, they're, now they're going attacking. See, this is when they go for it. They're going all out. Just got to prevent. Got to prevent. Well done, Ryan. So, guys, there's a final chance potentially, but we stop it there like we have done for the whole game. We got the goal we needed. I tried to get another. didn't quite work out for us as they were still playing a fairly defensive game. Uh, but it was a decent victory. We get the three points that we wanted. And with that victory, we have gone back up to an 88 manager rating. You can see we are in the top four now. Or Bayern, maybe they're not so far away. Maybe we won't give up on the title this season. We are in February, so yeah, we'll see how we go anyway, though. Uh, we will do a training session here. I was just thinking, yeah, we're training Ryan. I was thinking, yeah, his goalkeeper kicking is really good, but it's the handling. That's the attribute we want to work on. But yet again, for a goalkeeper, he's kept the most clean sheets in the league, and he just got one in the game we played. Again, he just he's doing the job. Um, hopefully you are noticing that <laughs> for the people that said we should sell him. He's doing, yeah, a respectable job. And now, guys, our next game at home in the Bundesliga against Cologne. You can see we're fifth and they're sixth. So this is actually a huge game for us. But let's just go straight into it. Our rating went down to 87 again. It's really like a yo-yo, <laughs> pretty much, uh, the manager rating in FIFA 17. It's the first year it's in, so it's understandable. But hopefully it's improved though in the future, but best starting 11 all fit for this game So let's just go straight into it oh, Come on don't let him through don't let him don't let him score ah There we go. It's gonna be one of these games. Uh, just an early goal like that Very very early as well. Just just getting into the game came very quickly That's always not a good thing, but like that's just as poor. Gets to Cater. Can he pass this through? Well done to Burke. Can he strike? Good save, Galachi. Though it was hit straight at him. I was trying to hit across him, though. Win this. Win this. Oh, my God. It's suddenly 2-0. Oh, it's another goal. 
Again, didn't really anticipate it. Maybe the positioning could have been better from the goalkeeper. I don't know. What happened? They put a free kick in. Ryan went to near post. Uh, it's going to be hard. Like, when you go 1-0 down, yeah, like, obviously you can still get back into it. But 2-0 from here, man, oh, won't be easy. Because they're no rush to attack now, playing away from home. Oh, Werner, though. Werner! Whew. We need a goal to give us just a bit of confidence, and myself as well. Layman, I oh, read that, read it, and hopefully we'll be paid with a goal. And we should, we should, and we are. Werner, good finish. That's exactly what we needed. The goal back, and now for momentum to go our way, which is a thing in FIFA. A lot of people don't believe it, but it is. <laughs> anyway, good finish. Now, we have got to win this Schmitz. He does well. He plays a nice little role when he comes on. Cater. Can we get the ball through to Paulson? This is what he's great at. Scoring as a super sub. And here he's gliding through the defense. Oh, my God. That was really, really well done. Okay. We've got a short option. We'll try that. We'll try that. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to stay in. It's going to stay in. It's going to fall to Paulson. He's blocked again. Burke. Oh, I envision that going top corner. I really saw that. Okay. That's not terrible. Sabitzer, can he put it in the danger zone? It is, and it's another corner it's going to be. Okay, we'll go short. We've got a man there this time. Cater. That's not bad. Not bad. Oh, how many chances are we going to have? Okay. Just get it in there. Get it in there. Get the header on. No, couldn't this time. We are going for it so badly. We want it more here. Okay. Yes, Powson. Oh, my God. How many chances do I need, Khan? Far, oh, man. I'm having so much opportunities right now. Come on, score. What is this? Kater. Hit it, Kater. Kater. Oh, my God. Oh. That was close to an amazing goal. Let's take a look at this. Oh, just inches away. We're going to go. If, if we get nothing from this game, it's going to be so unlucky. We, we, we want it more right now. They're just defending. Come on. Tackle. Go. We want this. Can we get the ball through now? That's he's on. Werner, come on, come on, Werner's quicker than that, Werner's quicker than that, the bloody fitness, man, late in games, uh, it annoys me, yeah, I knew that was going to end there, mate, oh, it's... see, right there, I feel as though when I get comments, people say you complain and stuff would be like a situation like that, let me know anyway, if you think that's, that's what you think, but it's like, I'm just like, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to win, like everybody does. Like everyone will kind of react like that in a game where you dominate like that. You feel you should have won. But then, yeah, now that's just, yeah, I get over it. And then, yeah, we get into the following games. But yeah, just like the same reactions normally anyone gets. So if someone again says that, no, you're wrong, mate. That's everyone who plays FIFA or any video game. Yeah, you just get really into it. So yeah, fuck. But guys, here we've got a youth squad monthly report and then also two monthly scouting updates, I think, to finish up this episode. We've got two games this episode, then the youth stuff. So Albert Winter, well, another high potential guy. He's looking really good. Just need that overall to go up. Uh, Marino, ooh. We're going to leave him. Just got to see if his minimum potential goes up. Same with this other Marino, <laughs> the Marino brothers. Uh, but anyway, Diet Rich. Yeah, actually, not looking too bad because it's 60 overall now. I'd still leave him for a little bit more, I'd say. Uh, Paul Becker, yeah, leave him a bit more. Lorenzo Conte, and yeah, all these other guys. Torsten Braun looks like a very good option. And Zeigler, again, potential very good. Costa, yeah, all these guys are solid. Kind of in between, or both, yeah, kind of options. Don't want to sign them up yet, but none of them have really dropped to a point. Uh, where I'd want to release them from the U squad. They're all looking good. Let's see if we have any other options. Gasparoni, ooh, we'll leave him for another month. Uh, Francesco Conti, I swear I've had a name like that before. <laughs> Lorenzo Giordano. Ooh, I think he's worth signing up to the U squad, definitely. Mariani, no. 
Andrea Santoro, unfortunately not, and Daniele Santoro. Like, these last names are reused so much. Like, doesn't matter what country you're getting the players from. They should fix that. We'll just add more names. Surely can't be that hard. Okay, Kaiser, not good enough. Hansen, leave another month. Zimmerman, same boat. Becker, not good enough by a lot. Uh, nah. And even, yeah, okay. They're pretty poor, to be honest. Also, guys, because it is the start of a new month, I think I will finish the episode with another squad report. It will update at the start of the month. So let's check out players that have improved. Uh, see Ryan, he's gone plus two, and you can see his attributes going up. Yeah, very, very strongly. Consider we signed him as a 72 rated player. Now he's like 81. He looks like a really solid keeper. Kept a lot of clean sheets this season. He's, he's done well. A fair amount of clean sheets anyway. Klosterman's gone plus five. Willie Auburn plus two. Papadopoulos plus one. Again, let me know if you think I should sign him permanently. Holstenberg, another plus one. But Oliver Burke, he's gone plus six. And look at those technicals. That's what we need him to really beef up. And he'll become an amazing player. He's performing very well. Kate has gone plus two. Think he can get to 80. Uh, Demmer, uh, he's always going to have that poor finishing regardless if it improves. Forsberg also, he's up to 80 overall now. Looks like a solid player for us. One of the better players in the team. Timo Werner, he's on plus five. We've had some amazing improvements, honestly. Kasper Dolberg as well. I'm really excited to use him. I, and I still see him as a unique signing, even though I got comments last time, people saying, like, everybody knows about him, but that's not true. Not everyone knows. Just because you do, that doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't speak for everyone. Like, I didn't know about him because I don't watch, uh, like, football, um, where he came from, he came from Ajax, I don't really watch that division, so, yeah, um, he's very unique to a lot of people, I see him that way, anyway, and now we're gonna, well, there's still some crucial players, like Paulson, Sabitza, Ilsanka, and now some youth guys as well, they just joined, so they're kind of just improving in their attributes, but yeah, Greco, who's been here a bit more than the others, he's gone plus four, he's yeah, going very, very well, and I actually will consider sending some out on loan, I'm not sure if Redman has a future at the club though, these youth guys are going to be better, ooh, Gino Fetchner, he's 61, so I don't know his potential, Bernardo as well, not sure about his future, those 21-year-olds that are not even 70, not sure about them. Davy Salka, again, to me, he physically lacks, doesn't have an attribute that's 80. So, you, to me, you need to be fast or strong, and he's kind of, I'd say, balanced, but then his acceleration and agility is really low. Rani Kadira, he's got a lot of lower attributes. Like he's, he's strong, can defend, and decent stamina, but that's about it, and he's 23 as well. It's good to see Grimaldo, despite his injury, he'll be back in two months, but he hasn't declined, so that's good to see. Terence Boyd, yeah, probably will try and sell him as well, not much to his game. Uh, I'm actually excited for Antish Nukan to come back. He's my type of centre-back. He doesn't have to be super pacey, but he's just an absolute beast, strong, really tall. So, yeah, I'm excited to get him back. Massimo Bruno, I think we could potentially utilise him, but at the same time, he's not super pacey and doesn't have amazing technicals. So, on a second look, maybe not, because I used him in Football Manager before, and he's actually decent. He was decent for me. But anyway, yeah. He may not be good enough uh, for us in FIFA, unfortunately. But that's going to be it. So we'll leave that for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you did in fact do so. And I'll see you guys next time.